This is a holdup. Oh, I'm a terrible person. Hello, Internet. Welcome back to another Splendivorous episode of Fallout 3, where we make fun of dangly dead people. In the last episode, we got here to the Springvale school, and there was an ant cavern, and that was something that didn't make me a happy camper, but that's okay. I don't think we ever checked out this room. It's got some Mantad, some lunchbox, some stem packs, some more dirty water. Gotta take all the dirty water. That dirty water, stow mine. Leather belt, uh, buff out. Definitely gonna take some buff out. Some of the some of the drugs in this game are really useful. Like buff outs are really useful. Fine ass clipboard. I am all. <laughs> Hello, sir. Pardon me. <laughs> Bottle cap clipboards. Mm mm mm. Carton of cigarettes. Uh, I'm about to be over encumbered, so I'm gonna leave the paperweight. Uh, metal box with some empty uh, pack of cigarettes. I'll take that one. Take the jet. Uh, definitely take the buff out. Why is there a thing on my thing? Darts are ammo for some gun, but I'm not sure what gun it is. But, you know, take them all whenever you can. Um, coffee mug, pack of cigarettes. Oh, I, I'm going to take that coffee mug. Uh, but carton of cigarettes. Not going to take the cup. Uh, is that everything in here? Is that all of it? Is that all of it? Uh, yeah, I think it's fair to say that's, that's everything in here. Oh, there's dirty water. Can't forget the dirty water. All right, what's that little blip on my blip blipper? Um, okay. All right. Hello, sir. <laughs> it's a dog. It's a dog. I don't want to kill a dog! I did that! I just killed the dog! Oh, meat! Okay. What else is there? Where did that dog come from? Did he come from over here? I guess he did. Oh, is this where the library is? Maybe? No? Perhaps? Perchance? No? Uh, I'm thinking this is where the library is. Okay, well, if there's anything this isn't, it's a library. Uh, can I sleep in the bed? What time is it? 11.47 p.m. Let's sleep for eight hours. Yeah. Because that heals all your wounds and also repairs broken limbs, you know. Got a broken leg? Take a nap. You're good. <laughs> You'll be fine, honey. All right, so now it's 7 o'clock. I feel real well rested. I think that gives me, like, stat boosts. I'm not entirely sure, but if someone were to inform me in the comments, I would be a happy camper. Lower level. Oh, good. I'm still looking for the library. I'm not entirely sure where it is. Maybe I'm thinking. I'm starting to think it's in a different place, but maybe not. Okay. Well, I've been here before. <laughs> that guy's. That guy's really dead. Okay. And this is where the other. That's where the other exit was when I was down here. So there's a library. It's not going to be right here. Empty toolbox. I've uh, been in here. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm using my, my think muscle here. I'm thinking it's about time to GTFO, to, to get out and explore the world a little more. Wait, there's scotch and radix and dirty water. Oh, I'm all over that crap. Dirty water. Oh, that's an empty box. Is that a kaleidoscope? It's not a kaleidoscope. It's a microscope. But <laughs> can, I, can, I, can I kill it? How do I kill it? You can't kill it. Darn it. Uh, metal box. How did he even open that? They had a thing on it. Uh, scotch. Totes mine. Um, fan? Fan! Fan! Look guys, it's my biggest fan! There, there you go, fan. Alright. Oh, get out of the way. Get, you're gonna, you're making a scene. You're making a scene. I gotta put you where you're not. There you go. There. Uh, boom! Okay, <laughs> I thought he was still alive. I was making sure he didn't come back as a Zambo. Um, time to get out of here. It's time to get out of here. Wait, we have overstayed our welcome. Welcome. It's time to go somewhere else. Child at heart perk improves your interaction with children with unique dialogue choices. Aww. <laughs> that is the happiest. That is the most adorable goddamn mole, and he's mine now. Alright, I think we killed everyone out here, so there shouldn't really be a big problem here, so let's just walk out the front door. <laughs> That seems to be the biggest the, the biggest way out. Uh, trash bins. Anything in here? Ashtrays and eh, pre-war money. I'll take that. I don't want the ashtrays though. I don't even I don't even smoke. And even if I did smoke, why would I need to carry around an ashtray for, with me? This ashtray is all over the goddamn place. Should I sit down and contemplate this for a little while? No, that doesn't seem like a good thing to be doing. Is this a thing? I want I want. Okay, I'm getting more radiated by the goddamn second. The closer I get to that. 
That is a that is not a happy place to be. If there's anything that that's hopes not a happy place, that'd be it. And that's where I went in over there. All right, so now we've come full circle. Ah, the wasteland is so I don't want to say beautiful, interesting. Here's my knife. Here's my thing. Here's my other thing. Uh, here's my my showstopper. Here's my BB gun in case I have need for BB gun. That's something I need. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh no, I didn't die. Uh, barbed wire fence. Not really a big deal. How do I? How do I? How would do? How would? How would do? All right. Jump. Nope. Jumpity. Yeah. Look at that. Jump. I literally jumped the fence. Mm mm mm. The backyard boys don't got nothing on me. What's in here? I should probably put away my BB gun. Why do I have a BB gun now? That's no. That's not the put away your bubble gun. All right. Bubble gun. <laughs> bubble guns down. Uh, vending machine with Nuka Cola. Yeah, I am running out of space to keep things. Let's see if we can, you know, micromanage our space a little bit. Um, let's let's kind of scroll down here and see if we can repair any of this. Uh, I'm wearing the tinted reading glasses. Uh, can I repair the jumpsuits? I can repair some of the jumpsuits, not these. Why do I have so many stinking jumpsuits? Why am I why am I pressing B on repair? I don't need to. Um, don't need that. No, no, no. Don't need any of that. Uh, can't repair the rest of this. Weapons. Weapon. Uh, no. Uh, no. Don't need... Well, I'm going to drop one of these. I don't need two stinking pool cues. Uh, repair the knives. Why do I, why do I keep pressing B? <laughs> uh, don't really need two Chinese pistols, so drop that one. Uh, da, ba, ba. Can I repair this any further? Yeah, I can. Alright, uh, 32 inch pistol, that's all I need. What about my, I'm not gonna drop any of my stuff. Alright, I think I'm a little more better off now. A little more better off now. That's the grammar. Uh, this is mine now. I'm gonna take this with me and use it for my purposes. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine, no one's gonna tell me different. Ooh, trash can! Oh, I hope there's treasures in that. Okay, I just shot while holding a traffic cone. That's not a trash can, what is that? Oh, it's a sign. Megaton. That direction. Skeleton. Skeleton is Megaton. This is me This is Megaton. It's nothing more than a pile of bones in the ground. Uh, I got a bone to pick with that. Okay. Anything? There's a blown out house there over there. I, can I have that? Ooh, what is this? It's bent tin cans. A milk bottle? That's mine. I don't want tin cans. I can find tin cans everywhere. Everybody have tin cans. Hey, 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 I'm going to put my gun away now. Also, get out a different gun that isn't a goddamn BB gun or a bat. A bat's, a bat's a better option. There we go. My signature bat gives me my look. My baseball cap, my tunnel snakes jacket, and my glasses. Because it's hard to see. Oh, the door's opening. The Death Star Trench is opening. Hi. Hello. Hello, your name is Stockholm? I can't, I can't hit you. So I'll, I'll leave you. Yes, sir. Have yourself a nice visit, partner. Okay, thank you, Deputy Well. He's so friendly. Let's just go on in here. Gate to Megaton. I'll be damned. Another newcomer. Oh, hi, hello. Name's Lucas Sims, town sheriff, and mayor too, when the need arises. Uh I don't mm. know why, but I like you, boy. Something tells me you're alright. So welcome to Megaton. Just holler if you need something. Isn't that completely, like, uh, illegal? I, don't, I guess it's not illegal anymore. <laughs> the laws got destroyed in a big boom. Uh, nice town you got here, Sheriff. It's a pleasure to meet you. Friendly and well-mannered. I think we're going to get along just fine. You treat my people nice, and you're welcome to stay as long as you'd like. Right. Message received. I'm glad we understand each other. Now, is there something I can help you with? Um... Uh, uh, ooh, I'm looking for my father. Middle-aged guy, maybe you've seen him? Nope, sorry. I got enough fires to put out in this place that I don't have time to keep tabs on every visitor. I'd ask around town. Okay, uh, I can use some directions around town. Sure thing, partner. What do you need to find? Uh, what? Uh, where's the nearest weapons dealer? You probably want to see Moira at Craterside Supply. She sells some weapons. Makes some, too, from what I hear. Her place is down by the crater. 
Okay, okay, uh, is there, is there a bar in town? Sure is. Moriarty's. The entrance is on the top level, opposite the main gate. Just be careful. Moriarty is not your friend, no matter what he may say. So don't fall for his lies. And for God's sake, don't trust the man. Got it. Uh, one more thing. Uh, but, but, needs to... Uh, where can I run to bed? Moriarty's at the south end of town. Talk to Nova. She'll help you out. Okay. Uh, closest clinic. Where is that at? Our clinic is down in the crater. By the bomb. Um. Doc Church <laughs> is a little rough around the edges. But the man's got talent and compassion. Okay, good. Uh, let's talk about something else. Sure thing. What's on your mind? Let's discuss this bomb. What about it? Well, it's a bomb. Don't you think someone should disarm that thing? I don't trust any of the locals to tinker with it. Besides... Most people don't even realize it's still a threat. And hell, Cromwell and those crazies from the Church of Adam, they worship the damn thing. What? Why? You think you got the know-how to disarm it? For good? Uh... I can see about disarming that bomb for you. Oh, all right. Fine. But listen here. Just take a look at it first. Go easy. If you get the job done, There'll be 100 caps in it for you. Sweet. Demolition expertise doesn't come cheap. I want 500 caps. I don't need a reward. I couldn't sleep at night knowing you could all die. That That's more. Well, that's mighty decent of you. Just don't, you know, go blowing us up. All right. Uh, now I'm helping you, maybe you can help me. Now I'm looking for my dad. Well, come to think of it, I do remember a stranger coming through here. Had a look in his eye. You know the kind a man gets when he's got a purpose. Spend some time up in the saloon. Might want to check with Moriarty. Just watch yourself. That man's trouble. Okay. Um. Tell me more about your town. What do you want to know? Uh. Well, that's not. <laughs> I want to know more about the bomb. <laughs> the only thing about the area outside of my town just. Where's the doctor? Where's the bar? <laughs> Those are the only two things I need. It's called the Wasteland for a reason. But there are settlements, too, spread all around. The human race is stubborn like that. To the south, you've got Rivet City. But don't bother going to D.C. The place is a war zone. All right, well, thank you. I have to go now. Have a good one. You too, Lucas Sims. I like you. You're black and have a beard. Okay, hello, sir. Hello. You looking to trade, stranger? Check out Crater Side Supply. Thank you. You're very, very helpful. How do I turn off my light? That's not my turn off my light button. That's my pull on my baseball bat button. And that's not the button I need. Hey, what's up? How's it going? If you need to buy something, Moira up in Crater Side Supply can help you. Watch out, though. She's different. Thank you. Oh, okay. Here's the bomb. All right, let me see if I can deactivate this. It's not working. Okay, let's let's try this. Activate undetonated bomb. You lack the explosive kills and need to interact with the bomb. Explosives 25 or higher required. Well, darn it. Also, I'm getting irradiated by the second as I stand here. Attend now to the words of the prophet of Atom. Who have we here? Could it be a new addition to our humble little community? Dear child, welcome. Welcome to Megaton. I am Confessor Cromwell, prophet of Atom and father of the Undying Glow. Please, child, come to the church anytime, anytime at all. Okay, tell me about the Church of Atom. Yes, what would you like to know? What? Why do you worship the bomb? The Church of the Children of Atom is based on the idea... I think I accidentally scrolled up. ...atomic mass in all of creation contains within it an entire universe. When that atomic mass is split, a single universe divides and becomes two, thus signifying the single greatest act of Atom's creation. Occasionally, a divine event occurs, and trillions upon trillions of new universes are created. The last such event took place here, 200 years ago, um. where most of the lost children of Atom see that event as simple war and devastation, 
We see creation and unification in atoms glow. Uh, what's wrong with you people? Even knowing the truth, you continue to mock us. How very, very sad. Uh, let's talk about something else. Uh, do you accept donations? No, I'm not going to. <laughs> we can talk about Megaton. Megaton, Atom's sacred village. He has chosen this place for the site of his shrine, and we have been called. Outsiders ask us, why did you build a town around a bomb? To them I say, the bomb brings the promise of division and the gift of the glow. The bomb is us. The bomb is Atom. And thus, we are Atom, awaiting the day in which each of us gives birth to a trillion new lives. Alright, that's, that's, that's about it. I gotta go now. You are a bunch of crazy men. Hello! Don't let the people around here fool you with their hippie crap. They've got water they won't share with anyone. Nice, huh? Yeah, it's super nice. Uh, are you, are you aware you're wearing just a bicycle helmet and a skin-tight t-shirt? I hope they let me buy a house here someday. Oh, that poor guy doesn't even have a house. Hey, what's, oh wait, you're the, you're the Brahmin guy. Uh, I'm gonna take a seat here. Hello. Hi there. How howdy doody. What? Why did you get up, Dom? Dom, you're so. Oh. Those are noodles. I want them. Now I know I've never seen you in Megaton before. Well, let me guess. Just passing through, right? We get people trying to settle down here all the time. Anyway, if you're hungry, you came to the right place. What can I get you? Uh, what's on the menu? Hey. I won't say it's all fresh, but it'll keep you going. Well, <laughs> that's all I need. Um, now here is trading. This is the first instance of trading we have. We can go to our stuff and go to, say, oh, our Miss Carolina stuff, such as our cigarettes. We can trade that for caps. Let's say we give her all our cartons of cigarettes. Now, she can only give us so many caps, but I can trade them for other foods until it catches up with how many caps she has. And I can end the transaction with me getting caps and a lot of stuff for just a couple of cigarettes, you know. So, I'm going to take all your snack cakes, your junk food, your Marlar cakes, your Melted Fruit, your Data Chris, your Salisbury Star, your Squirrel Stew, and all your Snake and Stem Packs. And for that, oh, I don't have that many caps. Um, for that, I'm going to give you this empty new cola bottle. Uh, these earnings clipboards, you need those. Finance clipboards, glass pitchers, a bell, a lunchbox, uh, those are mine, um, da -ba -da -ba -ba, um, a paint gun, you want some paint guns, paperweight, pencil, pilot light, some plungers, pre-war money, uh, I have all my pre-war money, uh, I don't, not a scrap metal, uh, I have a center module, a shot glass, shot, 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 uh, tin can, toaster, wrench, um, what else is there, some ashtrays, uh, you can't have my baseball, my baseball glove. You can have a bone saw, uh, chessboard, some clipboards, some coffee mugs, a uh, coffee pot, uh, a conductor, go ahead and have one of those, um, a cup, uh, cutting boards, <laughs> I have six dinner plates for you, a medical brace, a metal cooking pot, a milk bottle, that, that's mine, scapel, uh, bu -bu what else do I have? What am I not using? I have a knife, and I don't, I have, also have a combat knife, which is a lot better so I'm going to give away my knife. Um, pull cue. Don't really need a pull cue. Don't need five police batons. That's... <laughs> Let's go ahead and get rid of those. Go ahead and get rid of all those. Um, Switchblade. Don't really need that. Let's go to apparel. I have way more jumpsuits than I'll ever need. Have a jumpsuit. Um, have... Uh, actually, I might need that utility jumpsuit. Uh, have some Badlands armor. And have a hockey mask. And a Blastmaster helmet. And how can I get rid of these last six? Mm, have some BBs. Have some ten BBs. There we go. Ten BBs. There we go. Oh, but have two more BBs. <laughs> there, there we go. BBs. There we go. Except now we just get a whole bunch of food Enjoy. for all of our useless crap. All right, I have to go now. Thank you. All right, well, that took way longer than it needed to, but that's okay. That's all right. I want to steal those noodles, but then I will be a bad baddie bad. And that's not what I want to be with my life. Alright, so here's the clinic. This is where the doctor is. That'd be interesting. Uh, what? Moriarty's bar is up there. There's also Moira's Brown the shop with the crater side supply. Uh, we can go up here. What's up, buddy? What do you need? 
What do you mean, what do I need? How, what can I do to help around here? What can you tell me about Megaton? What can I tell you about Megaton? Well, that fucking bomb is killing us all slowly. All right, then. For a piece of information. Uh, what can you do to help well, around here? Well, it's secret that the old water treatment plant is on its last legs. And I'm the only one in town that can keep the damn thing running. I spend so much time up in the plant that I can't take care of the leaks that keep springing up in the pipes around town. Now, I don't expect much from strangers, but if you've got the know-how, I need someone to hunt down and repair those leaks. Um, how many leaks are there? From the pressure in the plant, my guess is that there are three of them scattered around town. Check along the pipes and the valves, but they might be a bit tricky to spot. I'll keep that in mind. I hope you can help. If folks knew how bad it was getting up here, well, I don't know what would happen. Uh, they would probably explode and because there's a bomb. That's that's probably all anyone can do around here is explode. Um, what's what what else is there? There's a crater side supply, don't want to go there. Let's just keep going this general direction. Do boo do boo do boo I wanna meet some of the citizens around here. This is the men's restroom. <laughs> gotta gotta take a visit to that. How do I, I want to use the toilet but not drink from it. How do I not drink? I'm going to take that plunger. That's my plunger now. <laughs> I, t I took a poopy plunger. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Ooh, box of detergent. Well, that's mine now. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Whoop. Ooh, t plungers and toilets. I'm not going to drink from the toilet. That's disgusting. I like to eat and drink. Not that much. <laughs> Uh, drinking for the urinal. Wait, why does the urinal give you more HP than the toilet? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I would think, well, um, maybe that's not a correct statement. I was, I was going to say, I would think urinal would be much grosser than the toilet, but that's not really true. Then the, then the toilet, the poop gets all stagnant and gross. With the, with, you know, at least, with the, I'm taking these tin cans, they're mine. At least with the urinal, the pee, pee, the pee pee just touches it, and then it goes away. Hey, buddy, who, who who are you, Jericho? Ah, oh, look, another one of you wasteland assholes. Hey! Look here, asshole, I don't like you. Stay clear of me and we'll have no trouble. You don't look like you belong here. What's your story? There ain't much to tell. I used to live out in the wastes. I was a real bastard back then. But I put all that behind me. Have you ever considered getting back out there? What? Back out where? Out there in the waste, man. You have to be bored to tears in this town. I left all that behind me. There's nothing but bullshit out there. Killing, stealing, violence. I'm not that guy anymore. Yeah, killing, stealing. Sounds fun, doesn't it? You know, I do miss it sometimes. It's a life of freedom, you know? But come on. I'm a washed-up old raider. What crew is going to take me on? These kids don't know nothing about respect. You just call me. I could use a hand. No offense, kid, but you're not exactly the type I'm used to running with. Now, I've heard about you. A little goody two shoes out of the vault. I don't think our styles would really mesh. Nah, it ain't so bad here. I got some good memories, but that's all I got. No sense in ruining the good ones, you know? My karma is too high to acquire this follower. Well, let's fix that. I want a follower. Um. What do you know about the wasteland? Your fucking business. Okay, you didn't have to be rude. Did I miss something? What's your problem with me? Heh, <laughs> yeah, right. I don't think so. Look, okay, can't catch that again. Whatever your problem is, I suggest you get over it now. Well, now. That's something I didn't expect. You're scrappy for a little vault twerp, aren't you? Maybe I had you wrong, kid. You're okay. Now, what did you want to know? Are you interested in joining up with me? No offense. I've heard about you. Nah, it ain't so bad. Uh, well, I guess I can talk to him later about him joining up with me just out of nowhere. So that's something I could do, but I have to get my karma down. And I think I know how to do that. What's my karma at? No, that's not the, that's not the thing. This is the thing. Um, what's my karma at? Blah, 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 blah. I'm a good sentinel. Well, let's fix that. But, not right now. I don't want to fix that right now. That might not be a good thing to do. We might start off next episode by murdering innocent civilians and stealing things to get our karma down. But not right now. Here's Billy Creel's house. But I don't want to go in Billy Creel's house. 
I'll catch you later, Jericho. We will be best friends, and we will go on adventures, Jericho. This is a something I can promise. Okay, put put the bat away. <laughs> now I'm in the bar. Uh, come on, you piece of junk. Every day it's the same You want something or are you just thing. looking to get your ass beat? I told you, Rob, it ain't the radio. The Enclave station comes in fine. It's Galaxy News. Their signal's been shit lately. Why? Oh, no. Work. Stupid radio. Work. Hey, smooth skin. Do you need something? A drink, maybe? Anything? Anything at all? Ah, what? Oh, no, 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 no. Let me think for a moment, my good man. You're not gonna hit me? Yell at me? Not even berate me a little bit? Uh, I hadn't planned on it. Well, now. That's a surprise. I'm used to every asshole smooth skin in this town giving me shit just because I look like a corpse. I'm glad to see that there are a few worthwhile people around here. Listen, Moriarty'd have my head if he caught me selling at a discount. But for you, I'll risk it. Oh, I gained karma. That's... That's not... I'm looking for my father, middle-aged guy. Maybe you've seen him? Oh, yeah. I do remember a guy like that. Honestly, I usually keep my head down. I tend to get smacked around if I look customers in the eyes. But talk to Moriarty, he'll know more. God, please, do you know anything about my father? You need to tell me. Sorry, smooth skin. I can't take the risk. Moriarty will beat the shit out of me for even talking to you. Oh. Colin Moriarty. Colin Moriarty, at your service. Welcome to Moriarty's. My saloon, my home, my slice of heaven in this backwoods little burg. If you've got the caps, I've got your pleasure. Please sit down, make yourself comfortable. Your troubles are a thing of the past. I'm looking for my father, a middle-aged guy. Maybe you've seen him? My God, it's you. The little baby boy all grown up. Persistent little bastard, ain't you? Then and now, it would seem. It's been a long time, kid. Oh, your daddy passed through here all right. Here and gone. Got what he came for and then left. I'm assuming you'll do the same, correct? Huh? My father and I were born in Vault 101. Is that what your father told you? That you were born in that hole? That he was born there as well? Oh, the lies we tell to those we love. Your father brought you to the vault right after you were born. To keep you safe, you see. I remember it well. You stayed in my saloon, after all. That's right. Your father, his brotherhood a steel friend, and you, the suckling babe with nary a tit to suckle. Sorry about your mom, truly. Ah, but life goes on. Daddy lied. Life's full of little disappointments. And now you're all grown up and wondering where he's gone to. My dad told me we were born in Vault 101. Oh, I wasn't born in the vault? That's complete bullcrap, and you know it. Ah, I see. You know, I heard about the brainwashing that goes on down there. From some other fella, escaped. Oh, five years back. All hail the overseer. We're born in the vault, we die in the vault, and all that other assorted lunacy. Kid, you've got better programming than our own deputy weld. You best wise up quick. Wouldn't want anyone taking advantage of you, hmm? I was kidding. My dad talks about you all the time. Now, really, where is he? You seem like a nut. Darn it! So I'm going to be straight with you. Your dad was here, and now he's not. And yes, I know where he went. But what you're asking me for is information. And information is a commodity. And like any commodity, it must be sold at a reasonable market price. So, what's reasonable? Let's say, oh, 100 caps, and daddy's location's yours. I don't have 100 caps. All right, kid. Then I guess there's nothing else we have to say to each other. Come back to me when you have the caps and we'll talk. Turd. Well, I don't really have an option. Who's that guy? My, my. Just when I had all but given up hope. My dear boy, I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. I am Mr. Burke. And you, well, you are not a resident of this putrescent cesspool and makes you a rather valuable individual. Mr. Bolt, Mr. Burke, is it? Please continue. I find myself enthralled. Finally, someone with a modicum of civility and common sense. 
I represent certain interests, and those interests view this town, this megaton, as a blight on a burgeoning urban landscape. You have no connections here, no interest in this cesspool's affairs or fate. You could assist us in erasing this little accident off the map. Wait, you're going to destroy the town? No, no. I'm merely a recruiter. You get to have the real fun. The undetonated atomic bomb for which this town is named is still very much alive. All it needs is a little motivation. I have in my possession a fusion pulse charge. Once rigged to the bomb, it will be detonated by you at a secure location. Easy money, my friend. Sims wants me to disarm the bomb. Sims is an idiot. He prides himself on his position as mayor and sheriff of this scrapyard. I told Sims I'd disarm it. Maybe some cats have changed my mind. All right, I say I decided to help you. What's in it for me? Too many lives are at stake, Burke. I'm going to defuse that bomb. I advise you against that particular course of action. If you interfere with my employer's wishes, you will find he can be quite hmm, disagreeable. You're out of your mind, Burke. There's no way I'm helping you. Now that is a disappointment. Well, if you change your mind, the offer still stands. Good day. Well, that's interesting developments. That's going to be it for this episode of Fallout 3. If you enjoyed, you know what to do. There's a lot of buttons. Hello, Megaton Settler. It's not that kind of bar, stranger. I just, I just want to feel you. Hey, hey, hey. Come <laughs> back. There's a lot of buttons. Press them. And press all the ones that are good or bad. And I'm going to continue to push this guy into a corner. And... <laughs> See you next time.